Good morning, good morning. We're going to have a look at some uh, dinosaur tracks this morning. Uh, we're going to uh, into Lark's Quarry out of Winton. Very pretty location in amongst the uh, jump ups here and the, the, the eroded hills. Yeah, I hope they're open. Isn't that a pretty location? Absolutely magnificent. Big building. Very big building. Let's go inside and have a look. Okay, my name's Trish and I'm one of three, three or four guys. It depends if the fourth one wants to come out here or not. Um, and uh, we take turns at caretaking and managing and doing the tours here at Lark Quarry. Um, now, Glenn Seymour sitting on the side of this escarpment, I don't know whether he's sitting or he's got a big backhoe in his hand, he found a piece of sandstone and on it had positive tracks which was sticking out of the rock. All right? Because you know the sticky out of not the dinted ones, the sticky out of ones. Now, they were the size of a matchbox and he thought they were bird tracks, so he left it there and he continued to dig for opal. He must have somewhere along the line just told somebody all right, that's how it was found. It's two and a half years of total excavation. 76 was a very slow year. They sort of were thinking, oh yeah, we're getting the same type of thing. Then they kept unfolding it in 70, uh, well, 75, that was slow. 76 and half of 77, they were starting to realize that it was something really special. It was a stampede. And then they continued. It opened up to the public in 1978 and uh, it was a tiny little tin shed. It's this fellow here. Now, he's a large omnithopod, which means he's got bird hips. All right, omnithopod, big word for bird hips. He was about the size of half the mother Barosaurus. If you're not familiar with that dinosaur, around about a young bull elephant. All right, give or take. Now, we call him Lucky. As I said, he was first in the tracks. He was very calm and casual. It doesn't seem that he was around when the theropod was around. So he was really calm. So he was lucky he was a lunch couple of days later. That's how he got his name. And his story goes quite simply is that the um, paleontologists think that he's gone to the eastern side of the lake, which is in that direction, okay, and then he's turned around and he's just walked straight out. And he's quite cool, calm and collected. You can see the way the distance between the steps is just prodding along. And then it, it gets a bit wider, but obviously he's just getting a bit of a pace up, that's all. Then they think what's happened. Now, these dinosaurs haven't touched the piece of mud that you're seeing today yet. Alright, so they're actually, oh, just pretend they're in the water or something like that, just to get your mind in Big theropod. Theropod means he's got three toes. He's a Tyrannosaur opus, which means he's got a foot like a Tyrannosaur. He's a carnosaur, he's nasty. He was about 89 metres long, about 2.6 metres from the hip to the ground, and about 3.5 metres from the head to the ground, and run anywhere up to 30 to 35 kilometres an hour. He was about two tonnes, and they reckon he was a baby. Alright, so that's the theropod. He, they reckon that he came out, out of the open woodland. He's left 11 of his tracks in the mud and they were a suspicious life. And uh, what they think he's done is cornered the smaller dinosaurs and trapped them up against the western side of the lake where they're being happy. And then down here, they reckon that they've taken fright, which is probably a normal thing to do. And most of them would have been able to get away at the lip of the, the lake, but others would have had to turn around and run back behind the theropod where he was walking, all right? So it's where we get the stampede side of it.
little wrinkly bits and little paw marks and various other different things. Just underneath the middle toes muddy squelch, which is very, very interesting. All right, so that's in track number five. If you're interested in seeing that. Then you've got track number six. And then track number seven is a bit of a mystery where he's hit some slate. Okay, so he's hit the slate. And then he goes eight, nine, ten, and then eleven. Too easy. That's the big theropod. All right. Now... I'm, I'm on the yellow rubber. Can you see that now? Yeah? All right. The yellow rubber is indicating a trackway. Now, this particular track is Ollie, the ornithopod. He's the bigger of the two smaller stampede dinosaurs. All right? Okay, this one's possibly the emu-sized one, and this one's probably turkey-sized um, Ollie. All right? Now, if you follow the yellow rubbers backwards, you'll find the, tra the trackway has been mapped out. And that's how they know that the dinosaurs are running be between the distance of the gate, which is amazing. It's a very big step for a, uh, a nethopod. And then to there, that's one track way. If you go down to the green rubbers, you've got the Silurosaur, very chicken-like track, okay? And it's the same story, this one possibly, the meat chook size, and then you might get like a little chicken size here with the smaller little pipes, uh, little pointy track, chook track type things. The green rubbers, they indicate a trackway as well. And if you follow them, you've got it. Big leap for mankind into the big theropod where he's lost his balance a little bit. And then he's gained his balance with a good print and then he's in that muddy mash there. And that's the trackway of the Silurosaur, which was the small bite leg off little lizard chook thing. Um, there are around about 150 different trackways found in this particular piece of um, stone uh, and we've only um, tracked out two of the small stampede dinosaurs. Big theropod, well he's, he's right on his own and Lucky is up the other end there which I'll show you soon. You probably noticed the long index in the month. They reckon that that that, I think the best theory I've had with these lines is um, uh, dinosaur wheelchair access to the entrance of the lake. Good theory. Good theory. But um, <coughs> it's actually um, dog monkeys. Okay. 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 Well, what did you think of the dinosaur tracks? Good, weren't they? I don't think it comes out in the video that, uh, you know, you, 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 when you see it in real life, you, get all, you see all the texture and that and the mud out was pushed. And it's amazing the scenario that would have occurred to actually produce it anyway. So there you go. A must see on this trip. You must go to Lark's Quarry and have a look at the dinosaur tracks. Recommendation. Not a food recommendation, but a recommendation. Uh, nonetheless,